If you are trying to decide whether you should get the Galaxy Buds Live or the Buds Pro, hopefully this video will help simplify the decisions for you. I'll keep it really short because it all boils down to your use cases. They are both very capable, compact and convenient through wireless earbuds. And they work even better if you are using Samsung phones and Samsung tablet ecosystem. Hey everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. In this video, we will take a look at the physical differences of this Galaxy Buds Pro and Buds Live and compare what these buds are really good at. They are made to cater very different use cases. So just basing off the physical looks, the Buds Live doesn't have an ear tip like the Buds Pro. The Buds Live are like half-in-ear earbuds where the speaker simply sits outside our ear canal. What that means is that we don't really need to worry about finding the right size earbuds. However, wearing it properly requires some trial and error. So I've made a video on how to wear the Galaxy Buds Live for best sound quality. The Buds Live is one of the best sound quality earbuds that I can wear for a long period of time without ear fatigue. There are even times where I forgot they are even in my ears. As for the Buds Pro, once you find the right size ear tip and obtain a good seal, the sound quality is just so good. It's because of its two-way speakers design. I tried connecting both my Galaxy Buds Pro and Buds Live to my Galaxy Note 10 at the same time. And then, I wear my Buds Pro on my left ear and my Buds Live on my right ear. And listening to the same song playing on my Note 10 at the same time. This is quite an interesting test. There is quite a bit of difference. On the Buds Pro, the dual speaker design really makes the highs a lot more pronounced and the tight seal of the ear tips enhance the bass a lot more. It really turns the good sound quality on the Galaxy Buds Live into great sound quality on the Buds Pro. I guess that's the reason why it's called the Buds Pro. And as for the noise cancellation on the Buds Pro, it's pretty amazing as well. It's so good to the extent that after using it for about half an hour in a noisy food court, cancelling out all the loud talking and eating noises, when I remove my Galaxy Buds Pro, I can really feel the difference where the noise of the food court is so disturbingly loud. It's like my ears are used to the 30 minutes of noise cancelling quiet and suddenly I'm bombarded with all these noise. Now, the Buds Pro is not all good though. I do have a problem with the Buds Pro. I can't wear them for more than an hour. My ears would hurt and it might just be my odd shaped ears. I don't know. Now, if you had watched my last video showcasing my shiny new Galaxy Buds Pro, you would know that I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with it. One thing I really like about the Buds Pro is I can do everything using the touch controls on the earbuds. Now, these are the standard controls where it comes out of the box and we can't change them. The only settings we can change is the press and hold settings and I have set the left side to be toggling A and C on and off and the right side to call for Bixby. I've also activated this experimental lapse feature to increase and decrease volume by double tapping on the sides of the touch control. So far it works pretty well. Every time I double tap on the edge of my ears, it works. Now, what this means is that we can control everything simply using touch controls on the buds. Not many earbuds nowadays on the market allow us to have this full control. It's a shame the Buds Live doesn't have this experimental lab feature to turn the volume up and down. I do hope that all future Samsung earbuds can do this.
Both the Galaxy Buds Live and Buds Pro have three microphones on each earbud. An air vent for the bass, touch proximity sensor to detect we are wearing the earbuds. Now, the main difference are in the microphones. On the Buds Pro, one of the external noise cancelling microphones has a wind mesh and a wind chamber technology to block out wind. Apparently, they are quite effective. See the wind test conducted by The Verge on their video using the link in the description down below. Now, let's talk about your different use cases. If you intend to casually wear the buds in your ears all the time so that you can hear notification and talk to Bixby or Google Assistant anytime, go with the Galaxy Buds Live because you can wear them for a long period of time. We can wear the Buds Pro for such use cases, but the Buds Pro will be draining battery because it has to constantly pipe through the ambient sound and the ambient sound can sometimes be quite jarring when we set it to high. Similarly, you should also go with the Galaxy Buds Live. If you do long hours of video conferencing, listening to lectures, podcasts and etc. The audio on the Galaxy Buds Live of course won't be as amazing as the Buds Pro, but if you wear the Buds Live correctly, you should get some very good bass and good audio. And if your use case is to zone out and enjoy great clarity music, play games and watch movies without any distractions, go with the Galaxy Buds Pro. The other use case to get the Galaxy Buds Pro is to get them for their ANC active noise cancellation. If you are going to use it at times when you commute in public transport, then go for the Buds Pro because the active noise cancellation and passive noise isolation of the ear tips are really, really good. You can drown out the traffic noise and enjoy very clear audio. And if you can't decide, perhaps consider getting both. I wear my Galaxy Buds Live all the time and switch to my Galaxy Buds Pro whenever I want to enjoy that great audio experience or those times where I want the precise audio, like when I'm doing my video editing. So, which one will you be getting? Tell us in the comments down below. Oh, don't forget the new Galaxy Buds 2 has just been released. Are you considering getting the Galaxy Buds 2 as well? Hmm, I think I'm planning to get them sometime in the future. If you are already using the Galaxy Buds 2, share with us how good it is in the comments down below. I'm really interested to know. Cheers! If you like video like this, where I discuss my usage experience of the tech gear I buy for myself, click that subscribe button now. Don't forget to also like this video. Your small gesture of liking this video actually helps the channel a lot. Thanks a lot for all your support. That's it for this video. Take care and look after yourself everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!